Hi, good evening, everyone, and thank you very much for joining in today's session. Uh, I'm so happy that we have started this series because of this series uh, we have received lots of uh, accolades and we have received lots of questions as well that we that they want us to cover in this series of personal mastery with season one relationships and you and with episode three today which is about siblings and you. So today uh, when I am here in front of you. uh my main objective is to actually make us all aware that rivalry between siblings or uh if if i don't want to use this word rivalry because i really don't uh support this rivalry rivalry thing but for the sake of saying it and I'm, i'm using this uh word rivalry but if we feel lack of support from our siblings uh then it actually takes a toll on our mental health i have seen this i have seen this with many of my clients i have seen this with many of those uh people who are living a well accomplished life they are married they have children they have good careers but still somewhere you know there is a little pain that they are going through just because something happened with the sibling maybe they are not respecting them maybe uh maybe they are not getting the respect maybe the sibling is favorite of the parent there are n number of things n number of reasons because of which it happens and today i'm going to discuss about it remember last week when we met in the episode 2 parents and you this was the last point that i actually mentioned very categorically and very powerfully that it's the responsibility of the parent to ensure that the harmony remains between their children uh, the children have to feel very very connected connected and loved towards each other because ultimately they are going to live their life together uh, once we as parents will not be there with them so to, uh, so now in this case uh, today we are going to deep dive further into it where we will understand what is sibling rivalry why it happens what is the role of parent in this how they can avoid it or fix it as well and just in case just in case if the rivalry has happened you know the bitterness has happened between the relationships of you siblings then what can we do to actually kill that rivalry and make it a harmony and love once again so uh in order to proceed with this entire thing you must be able to see that uh, uh we have another guest who is going to be with us and that guest is none other than my daughter monisha gupta once again because today she is here and i'm so happy that she accepted my invite you know that it's not that easy for a child to be there on the uh, public platform at times they have their own fears insecurities but i'm very happy that she has agreed she came here uh, and uh, she's a sibling to my son shiv and shiv is also sibling to her monisha so i am sure that they are ready with their questions while shiv is too little he is not here with us today on, on in this episode live episode but i'm sure one day he will be here with us as well so that we can understand his point of views in some other topic that we'll be discussing so um i welcome monisha gupta and uh, i would request her to share her thoughts and shoot the questions whatever she has written because i remember she and shiv they both were actually working on the questions i think that they're going to make my time a little tough today but i wish the almighty that i do all the justice to whatever queries questions doubts they have and at the same time i would request all of you as well to please keep on asking your questions or thoughts whatever comes to your mind with respect to this episode of siblings and you i would love to answer every question and i would also love to hear your thoughts as well thank you for joining in once again and welcome monisha Hello everyone I am Monisha Gupta and I study in grade 10 Personal mastery has changed many lives and mine is one of them I have attended one program from personal mastery that is train the trainer leadership program after attending that program uh, I have got many opportunities from my school 
I have got lots of praises and blessings from my teachers, from my principal, ma'am as well. And so much that one of my teachers said me once that I want to see you as a head girl in of our school. And my principal, ma'am, also like uh, and my all the teachers, they always praise me for my leadership skills and my speaking skills. This all have happened just because of personal mastery. And I'm happy to be uh, present here. And um, I and I'm ha- thankful that my mom has invited me on this live, uh, in this episode, siblings and you. And I'm ready with my questions. Oh my God! I'm scared, Monisha. I don't know what you and your brother has cooked up for me, uh, but I think let's bring it on. So, what is your question? Shoot. So my first question is: Ki uh, rib, uh, sibling rivalries hoti kyun hai? Hmm. Uh, uh, thank you for asking this question. and while i answer this question in case any of you watching this uh, live right now would like to answer ki sibling rivalries hoti kyun hai why the sibling rivalries happen feel free to uh, write down your thoughts as well we would love to read them out so monisha to answer your question that why this sibling rivalry happens uh, it is very important for us to know what is sibling rivalry uh, so we all know sibling means brother sister brother brother sister sister you know like this so and we all know that uh, from your experience from my experience because i also have a little sister uh, i love her a lot you also have a little uh, brother you love him a lot i have seen that but yes there are times when we are not so loving towards them and when they are also not loving towards us we have seen those times and i am sure that everyone in their own respective uh, roles as a sibling has experienced it so now uh, siblings are two or three or four depends on the number of siblings that you are uh, are individual people they are living together under the guidance of same set of parents and uh, there is a possibility that they have taken birth in a different timeline matlab koi bada hai jaise aap bade ho shiv chhota hai main badi hu my uh, my sister is smaller than me to wo different timelines mein hai and also there is a possibility kuch logo ke twins bhi hote hain so they are twins now why uh, when i say that we are individuals as a siblings we are individuals this means that we have our own likings dislikings we have a individual behavior of our own we create and perceive world in our own way and when we do that monisha and everyone who is listening to us then uh, we the way we perceive if we are perceiving the world in a unique way we are going to behave it in it in a unique way and that is why the sibling rivalry uh the rivalry begins with you know cute little fights in the beginning then parents have a major role to play in there ki choti choti aapki pyari pyari ladai hoti hai but if parents are not observant enough if parents are not not mindful enough ki kaun si fight mein intervene karna hai kaun si fight mein intervene nahi karna hai kaun si fight mein kaun uh, in in what fight which child has to be protected and which child has to be uh you know taught a lesson or shared a lesson with if we are not mindful of that as a parent then these cute little fights take the shape of rivalry so this is what rivalry is all about ab ye hoti kyun hai i would like to say that there are many reasons to it and again i will come back to the parent on this uh, as a parent i am saying this not as a sibling i am saying it as a parent i am saying this that i'll come back to myself that sibling rivalry majorly happens because almost 99.9% of times while i want to say 100% but i'm just keeping the exceptions uh, in consideration so 99.9% of times parents are not observant enough of what exactly a child their children are going through they are not taking time or they are not taking out time to understand that observation what they have seen in the behavior of their children now why this happens i can give you a number of theories around it to begin with there are four or five that i will share with you one is the behavioral attachment theory which means that as i just mentioned monisha uh, that as a sibling we all are different so i have my own behavior and uh, let's say i like to let's say i am an extrovert and i want to share a lot 
राइट आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर थिंग्स अ लॉट मुझे बहुत बोलना है मुझे हर चीज बतानी है दैट इज द केस देन इन दिस केस मोनिशा वट विल है and let's say if my sibling or my sister she is a reserved type automatically i will start uh, developing a kind of uh, i will start feeling a difference between her and me and, and that thing very slowly very quietly this is a very quiet process and slow process in the head very slowly and quietly it will start creating a difference between me and my sibling why because i am different she is different and sometimes mind doesn't process the difference it says that if the other person is different you don't like that person or that person doesn't like you so this is the behavior attachment theory that i am attached with my behavior or agar aap kisi aur tarike ka behave kar rahe ho to mujhe wo pasand nahi aa raha why because i'm comparing your behavior with my behavior ki main hoti to aisa nahi karti so this This is the very first thing which actually crops up. Rivalry तो बहुत बाद में जाके होता है पहले तो डिसलाइकिंग या फिर डिफरेंसेज ही आते हैं सामने पर जब हम इसको अड्रेस नहीं करते हैं ना वेन वी आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ दीज थिंग्स ओनली देन ये राइवलरी का शेप लेता है आगे जाके राइट सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट रीजन की क्यों होती है सेकेंड रीजन इज सोशल कंपेरिजन यू रिमेंबर मोनिशा बिकॉज यू आर द वन Uh, जो स्कूल में शुरू से है शिफ्ट छोटा है तो वो बाद में एडमिशन लिया है राइट बट यू नो एवरी टीचर हु हैज बीन विद यू शी शी सम हाउ अनोइंगली विद अनवेयरनेस मे बी एवरी पर्सन वॉन्ट्स टू सी योर काइंड ऑफ बिहेवियर इन शिफ्ट तो अब क्या है ना वो सोशल प्रेशर है शिफ्ट के ऊपर कि मुझे तो दीदी जैसा होना है क्यों क्योंकि हर कोई उसको ये बोल रहा है कि मोनिशा तो ऐसे करती थी मोनिशा तो इस केस में ऐसे बोलती थी सो नाउ व्हाट इज हैपनिंग सोशल कंपैरिजन इज हैपनिंग सो ऑटोमेटिकली व्हाट विल हैपन मे बी यू आर नॉट डूइंग इट मे बी आई एम डूइंग इट एज अ मदर और मे बी द टीचर इज डूइंग इट एज अ टीचर और मे बी सम नेबर इज डूइंग इट एज अ नेबर वो सिर्फ शेयर कर रहे हैं अपने ओपिनियन पर उनको पता भी नहीं चल रहा कि वो सामने बच्चे के ऊपर क्या इम्पैक्ट डाल रहा है तो इन दिस एग्जाम्पल शिव विल फील प्रेशराइज कि मुझे दीदी जैसा बनना है या सब दीदी को प्यार करते हैं एंड ये थॉट आते ही ना ही विल स्टार्ट डिसलाइकिंग यू ही विल स्टार्ट गेटिंग रूट टू यू आपको पता भी नहीं होगा ये क्यों कर रहा है पर वो कर इसलिए रहे क्योंकि उसको ये बातें सुनने को मिल रही हैं कि मोनिशा ऐसे करती थी सिमिलरली इफ वी टर्न द टेबल्स अराउंड जस्ट इमेजिन कि यही चीज हम करने लग पड़े कि शिव तो ऐसे करता है मोनिशा शिव तो देखो कितना अच्छे से ये कर लेता है कितना अच्छे से वो करता है और शायद हम करते भी होंगे बिकॉज वी आर ऑल्सो ह्यूमन बींग्स रिमेंबर पेरेंट्स आर ऑल्सो लर्निंग तो देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी कि कभी कभार अनोइंगली अन जाने में अन अवेयरनेस में वी माइट हैव डन दैट एंड देन इट क्रिएट्स अज इम्पैक्ट इन इन योर हेड कि प्रेशर है अब आपके ऊपर कि शिव जितना अच्छा बनना है या शिव ऐसा करते तो आपको शिव से प्रॉब्लम होना शुरू हो जाएगा तो दीज आर वेरी नेचुरल थिंग्स जिसमें अगेन आई विल कम बैक टू पेरेंट आई विल कम बैक टू पेरेंट कि पेरेंट को ऑब्जर्वेंट भी होना है इसमें राइट बिकॉज वेन अ चाइल्ड इज बॉर्न इट बिकम्स द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द पेरेंट टू एक्चुअली टेक केयर ऑफ द एंटायर अपब्रिंगिंग वाई दे आर स्टिल लर्निंग ऑन द जॉब सो दिस इज द सेकेंड रीजन वाई इट हैपन्स थर्ड इज वेरी ऑब्वियस पेरेंट्स डिस्क्रिमिनेशन तो समटाइम्स पेरेंट्स ही डिस्क्रिमिनेट कर लेते हैं कि देखो वो कैसे करता है या करती है हाउ यू आर डूइंग इट थिंग्स लाइक दैट सो इट हैपेंस एट टाइम्स नाउ व्हेन दिस हैपेंस ऑब्वियसली द अदर पर्सन यू नो द चाइल्ड हु इज लिसनिंग टू इट दे विल नॉट फील गुड अबाउट इट ना कि व्हाई वी आर कंपेयरिंग मेरे को मेरे लिए बात करो सामने वाला मेरा भाई या मेरी बहन ऐसा करती है पर मैं ऐसा नहीं करती तो उसके बारे में बात मत करो सो व्हाट हैपेंस इज व्हेन पेरेंट्स डिस्क्रिमिनेट एंड आई एम श्योर कि वो जान के डिस्क्रिमिनेशन नहीं करते होंगे क्योंकि अगर मैंने भी कभी बोला होगा मोनिशा एंड आई एम श्योर बोला होगा आई कैन नॉट डिनाई इट बिकॉज इट्स अ पब्लिक प्लेटफॉर्म बिकॉज आई कैन नॉट डिनाई इट बिकॉज आई नो आई एम अूमन बींग एज वेल राइट तो हो सकता है ऐसा हुआ होगा हैविंग सेट दिस पर वो जान के कभी नहीं हुआ होगा सो पेरेंट्स नेवर डिस्क्रिमिनेट नोइंगली नोइंगली What happens is कि एक बच्चे का बिहेवियर काफी 
सटल होता है केयरिंग होता है तो उसको थोड़ा ज्यादा प्यार मिल जाता है पेरेंट्स उसके साथ ज्यादा अटैच फील करते हैं पर इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि वो दूसरे से अटैच नहीं है बट अगर दूसरा बच्चा उतनी केयर उसका बिहेवियर डिफरेंट है लेट्स से वो थोड़ा कम केयरिंग है वो कम केयर शो कर रहा है इट्स नॉट दैट वो कम केयरिंग है एवरी चाइल्ड इज केयरिंग टू वर्ड्स देयर पेरेंट्स आई नो दैट नाउ इफ आई लुक एट माई सेल्फ एंड माई सिस्टर एज अ चाइल्ड टू माई मॉम एंड माई डैड एंड इफ आई लुक एट बोथ ऑफ यू आई नो दैट एवरी चाइल्ड इज केयरिंग टू वर्ड्स देयर पेरेंट्स बट कई बार ही कुछ बच्चे केयर शो कर देते हैं और कुछ बच्चे केयर तो करते पर शो नहीं कर पाते उनका तरीका अलग होता है सो इन दैट केस अगेन आई विल कम बैक टू अ पेरेंट कि उस केस में पेरेंट को समझना है कि ये प्यार करता है इट जस्ट दैट कि पॉलिश्ड नहीं है बोलने में तो काम वहां करना है इंस्टेड ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेटिंग कि ये ऐसे करती है तुम क्यों नहीं ऐसे करते पेरेंट हैज टू डिसाइड कि आई मस्ट वर्क ऑन दी वर्बल एंड कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स ऑफ दिस चाइल्ड ऑफ माइंड सो दैट आगे जाके उसको किसी और रिलेशनशिप में प्रॉब्लम ना आए पेरेंट्स तो एक्सेप्ट कर लेंगे बट वट अबाउट अदर रिलेशनशिप्स इन लाइफ सो दिस इज अन अदर रीजन देन यू नो द फोर्थ रीजन इज स्पेस शेयरिंग स्पेस शेयरिंग एज इन की देखो भाई Uh, I I don't mean the space of the room, okay, and I don't mean the space of the cupboard. I mean the space, the space in your heads. कि जब दो या तीन या चार भाई बहन हैं, तो उस time पे आप लोगों को बहुत चीजें share करनी होती हैं. Room भी, cupboard भी, खाना भी, yeah, so many things that you have to share. और उसकी वजह से भी rivalry या कह लो disconnects हो जाते हैं. So let's say कि आप बड़े हो. तो मैंने बहुत केसेस में ऐसा देखा है मेरे जो क्लाइंट्स हैं जो जिनकी काउंसलिंग या मैं वन टू वन कोचिंग करती हूँ कि बहुत केसेस में वो बड़े हैं छोटे बच्चे के आने से उनको छोटा भाई या बहन के आने से उन्हें इनसिक्योरिटी हो गई कि अब तो मम्मा इसको टाइम देती हैं राइट अब मम्मा या पापा उस छोटे बच्चे को टाइम देते हैं पर बड़े बच्चे को नहीं ना पता कि जब वो छोटा था उसको भी उतना टाइम मिला था अगेन आई विल कम बैक टू पेरेंट एज अ पेरेंट की पेरेंट को ध्यान रखना है कि ये चीजें हम कम्युनिकेट करें अपने बड़े बच्चे को भी कि जब तुम छोटे थे यू नो बातों बातों में छोटे बच्चे का ध्यान रखते हुए अपने बड़े बच्चे को वी कैन टेल कि व्हेन यू वर स्मॉल व्हेन यू वर लिटिल यू नो तुम्हें भी ऐसे ही करते थे तुम्हें ऐसे पाउडर लगाते थे तुम्हें ऐसे नहलाते थे तुम्हें ऐसे कपड़े लेकर देते थे सो द एल्डर वन विल फील दैट ये आई बिलोंग टू दैम यू नो फीलिंग ऑफ बिलोंगिंगनेस विल बी देर क्योंकि उसको अब पता चल रहा है जब हम छोटे होते हमें कहा पता होता है राइट सिमिलरली आप छोटे बच्चे के साथ भी ऐसा ही कीजिए क्योंकि बहुत मेरे क्लाइंट्स में मैंने देखा है कि जो छोटा चाइल्ड है छोटा सिबलिंग है द यंगर वन वो भी इनसिक्योर होते हैं अपने बड़े भाई से या बहन से क्योंकि उनको लगता है कि ये ज्यादा प्यारे हैं मम्मी पापा को क्योंकि वो पहला बच्चा है एन नंबर ऑफ रीजन अगेन ह्यूमन माइंड एन नंबर ऑफ रीजन तो हमें छोटे बच्चे का भी ध्यान रखना है उस केस में अगेन यू नो एज अ पेरेंट आई हैव टू बी रियली माइंडफुल एंड ऑब्जर्वेंट अबाउट ऑल दीज थिंग्स ये मेरा ही जॉब है ये मेरा यू नो मम्मी पापा ये दोनों का काम होता है तो और हम इसी को कहीं बहुत बारी ना बहुत बारी हम इसे लेट गो कर देते हैं हम इसे अनदेखा कर देते हैं हम ऑब्जर्व ही नहीं करते हैं ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए बिकॉज फिर इससे क्या है ना हम एक प्रॉपर एक पूरा एक लूप बना रहे हैं डिसहार्मनी का जहां पे हम अगर अगर हम साइकोलॉजी भी समझे मोनिश एंड एवरी वन हु इज वॉचिंग अस इफ वी लुक एट दिस साइकोलॉजी एक से ज्यादा बच्चे क्यों करते हैं लोग एक से ज्यादा बच्चे क्यों होते हैं वाई बिकॉज ऑफ बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट दैट आवर चिल्ड्रन शुड नॉट फील लोनली एंड अलोन वेन वी आर नॉट देयर इफ वी वॉन्ट दिस एंड दैट इज वाई देर आर मोर देन वन चाइल्ड देन इज इंट इट आवर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एज अ पेरेंट दैट वी प्रोवाइड दैट एटमोसफेयर टू अवर चिल्ड्रन ऑल द चिल्ड्रन सो दैट दे फील कनेक्टेड इवन वेन वी आर नॉट देयर क्योंकि अल्टीमेट मोटिव तो यही है ना भाई बहन होने का दैट इज दी रीजन की मेरा बच्चा अकेला ना रहे आगे जाके जब हम नहीं रहेंगे सो फिर वो मोटिव को फुलफिल करने के लिए उस डिजायर्ड आउटकम to get that desired outcome i have to as a parent i have to take some steps i have to be mindful i have to be observant i have to be uh, loving towards the insecurities of both my child or all my children how many 
ever I have. So this is another reason why the rivalry takes place in siblings. And the last one I would like to say, diversification. Uh, we are very diverse. Hai. So, you know, we all like different things and sometimes we do not accept that. Let, let's say if I like uh, Pepsi and you like Coke, so sometimes, you know, we don't accept it. I mean, what's Coke in Coke? Pepsi is so nice, na. Or let's say I like uh, Rajma Chawal and you like Kadi Chawal and I say, ah, Kadi Chawal mein kya hai? Rajma Chawal khao na. So this thing happens and when we reject the choices of the other sibling, that sibling will not like us. If they are not liking us, automatically we will not like them. And then, you know, the rest is history. Then when we grow up, the rivalry creeps in and then our life becomes unsettled in many ways. It's, it's never direct. You will never find anyone coming to you directly that uh, mere, mere brother se ya sister se banti nahi hai, isliye meri growth nahi ho rahi hai. Koi aisa nahi bolega. They will just come and say, this is what I have observed and experienced with my clients. They will just come and say that this is the, I, I'm not able to get promoted. I'm not able to have a peaceful sleep. But when you dig deep during your coaching process, then you realize ki problem to sibling ko zada pyar mil gaya. Or uh, someone has given more share to the sibling, not to me. They like this person more, not me. This, these are the causes of whatever we manifest now in the current state. I hope I was able to answer your query, uh, Monisha. And with this, I would like to welcome um, Fatma, Abhina. Thank you very much for joining in. Yes, Monisha. Uh, yes, my query was answered and uh, I have a second question. Please ask. Um, how to make like uh, brothers and sisters to like to like how to uh, ask them some jobs to do and they do us without any conflict? Hmm. That's a wonderful question. And you know, uh, answer to this question, I have also mentioned in one of the tips uh, from the siblings then, but I would like love to share it with you. Uh, to make someone work uh, or do the job that I want them to do is a very, is an art. Basically, it's an art. It's not a science. It's an art. Why? Because we are human beings, Monisha and everyone, and we work on emotions. If, if, I, am, if I feel uh, happy about you, I would love to do work for you. And if I don't feel happy about you, if you say it to me, I will do it either with a heavy heart or I will say no. And this is what happens between the brothers and sisters, brothers and brothers, sisters and sisters. So what is the way? Uh, I will say the way to this is, Monisha, learn, learn the art of eloquence. And I feel that you you know you have learned it also because when you attended the personal masteries leadership and emotional intelligence course this was the first thing that we do in in there that learn the eloquence eloquence what is eloquence it means that whenever uh, you are speaking ab jo bhi baat kar rahe ho, you are saying it in such a manner that other person feels mesmerized about it Right, you are able to convey your point without offending other person. So now, how to make them do it by telling them to do something in respectful manner. Agar main layman language mein bolu, because sabko nahi pata hoga art of eloquence kya hai, kyunki ab kyunki they have not been a part of our programs uh, maybe. But art of eloquence ko agar main simplify karu, to uska matlab itna hi hai ki aapko jo kam karana hai, say it to them in a respectful manner. Not in commanding manner. So let's say, uh, if I take your example, lo, Monisha, you are big, Shiv is small, right? So if you are giving him a job, let's say you are saying to him, take water, ho, bring me a glass of water. So now you should not go in a commanding way. You should go in a very respectful way. Mein. That Shiv, uh, uh, I would request you to please bring me a glass of water if you have time. If you have time. Ab, if you have time is a very psychological statement which plays a big role. If you have time, tells the other person that you, if you say, Shiv, uh, will you be able to bring me a glass of water if you have time? 
ठीक है सो इन दिस केस इफ यू हैव टाइम दिस स्टेटमेंट विल गिव दिस सिग्नल टू शिव माइंड दैट ओके शी इज she is cognizant uh, which means that she is aware or she is taking care of my time also am i able to make it understandable what i'm trying to convey that she she is considering my time to abhi uska jo ego ya uske jo guards usne upar kiye honge ki main nahi la ke deta wo jo guards hain wo niche aa jayenge ki ha didi ले आता हूं या हाँ दीदी काम करने के बाद ले आता हूं हैविंग सेट दिस ये एक दिन में नहीं होगा इट इज अ कल्चर दैट वी हैव टू क्रिएट ऐसा नहीं कि चार बार तो शिव पानी लेके आना बोल दिया और पांचवी बारी बोला कि शिव विल यू प्लीज गेट मी ए ग्लास ऑफ वाटर इफ यू हैव टाइम तो ऐसे वो नहीं होगा क्योंकि उसका जो पिछला एक्सपीरियंस है वो तो कमांडिंग वाला है राइट सो वी हैव टू वॉश दैट एक्सपीरियंस दैट ही हैज इन द बैकग्राउंड अबाउट अस and we have to start creating a new culture every time when we ask him to do something we say it in a respectful manner considering his time considering his health considering his well being kyunki kai baar hi wo samne wala thaka bhi ho sakta to hum bol sakte ki shiv agar aap zyada thake nahi hue to kya pani la doge another way of saying it so we have to find out those creative ways of saying things to them which is melodious to their ears and which shuts down their ego even if they are a uh, that person is a child right and does it make sense was I able to answer your question and you can say no also monisha no you actually it was uh, i was able to understand uh, so my third question is how to make your siblings respect you Oh, good question. And before I answer this question, I would like to uh, welcome Bharti. Thank you very much, Bharti, for joining in. I'm so happy to see you here. I feel the warmth that you bring with you. Uh, okay. So your third question is that how to make your sibling respect you? Is this the question? Hmm. So before I answer this question, uh, would anyone else like to answer it? Maybe in the comment box. And while they are writing it. Uh, monisha what are your thoughts on it feel free to share it with us we would love to hear it um maybe giving them respect from like the my side very true thank you for saying this so uh how to make them respect us is you know we have heard that uh, proverb now what you sow so shall you reap right and what do we mean by this is ki jo aap boge jo aap seed daloge waisa hi aapko paudha nikal ke milega so and this, and what you have said monisha is actually the same thing that is the answer to this question that in order to get respect from them we have to behave respectfully when i say behave respectfully i am not only saying that behave respectfully with them i am i am also trying to say i also want to cover that aspect where we behave respectfully with ourselves also what do do i mean when i say this and welcome prithvi for joining thank you very much for, for joining in so what do i mean when i say that we have to be respectful towards ourselves it means that ki uh, and this, this is very natural what i'm going to share is very natural for all of us ye maine bhi kiya hai ki kabhi kabhi hamara mood acha hota hai to hum bahut childish way mein aur ya hum bahut hi excited way mein behave karte hain apne bhai behan ke sath we do it right so uh, why we must have all the fun i don't want to deprive the children of the fun that they have have it said this they there must be a respectful demeanor to have that fun to hota kya hai i i remember when i was small my mom used to say aur hamari bhi bahut fights hoti thi me and my sister ye respect wala issue bhi aata tha ki i am the bigger one respect milna chahiye and i still remember my mom she is a wise lady and she used to say कि या तो हंसी ठिठोली कर लो या लड़ाई कर लो दिस इज वट शी यूज टू से एंड उस टाइम आई आई नेवर अंडरस्टूड कि वो क्या कहना चाह रही हैं 
having said this after studying these subjects neuro linguistic programming hypnosis how the brain works the theories of the uh, soft skills and uh, mindfulness uh, etc i i got to understand what she was trying to say that either we are laughing out loud lol jisko kehte hain aapke terms mein either we are lol <laughs> or we are fighting hum beech mein jo ek balance maintain karna na wo hum kar rahe nahi humne so the point is in order to make them respect us we must also respect the ways in which we behave with them my behavior should be respectful i should not be doing uh, things in a very excited way bahut hi bachkane tarike se nahi ek tarika hota hai har cheez ka there has to be a uh, uh, there has to be an elegance even in the fun that you do to bring in that elegance while speaking with them while behaving with them in your own demeanor and you will find that ultimately they will stop following you because this is very contagious they cannot disrespect you if you are respectful every time with yourself also not only with them but with yourself as well does it does it make sense what i'm trying to say you can say no as well manisha this is the time for you to get all the answers i am under a public pressure you know <laughs> No, it does. And um, now I have uh, finally the Shiv's question oh my on God. my sheet. <laughs> uh, he says that why is it that you always have to take side of a sister? Oh, is it that, Monisha? Do you feel that I always take your side? By the way, you can say yes, or you can say no as well. What do you think? <laughs> Most of the times. Hmm. And why is it that? because i'm big hmm big and small doesn't or, matter or maybe i'm right in most of the cases right and wrong is not an issue here i la answer it i'll not put you put you on this spot i'll answer this uh first of all uh I know Shiv is not sitting here with you, uh, but he has given this question to you. So all my love to him, and I'm also going to make him understand. And you know, somewhere uh, I think it it would have been my fault that I was not able to understand why why is it that that many a times uh, it seems like the Monisha side has been taken. Now to answer this question, Monisha, what I would like to convey here is that. Uh, whenever there is any situation where two children are involved uh, always and i'm taking this liberty to say always the the child who is behaving properly will get the benefit and the child who is emotional and who is getting carried away by the emotions uh or or the child who is not looking at a bigger perspective in that situation or fight may suffer at, at times or may feel that you know their side has not been taken because maybe you know they have said some things uh, which are not uh, acceptable or maybe which are not appropriate at that time and that is the reason even if maybe the mistake is of the the other child this child who got carried away by by emotions they they get the burned of it but having said this again it's the job of parent to understand that to make the little one understand or the bigger one whosoever is it make them understand and how to do that why there is one and there are seven antidotes that i have written from parents and to take care of these things so one of the antidote is which i feel that i generally do me me and your dad uh, we generally do is spending alone time with each of your child so we have two children you and shiv so it is our responsibility to spend alone time sometime with you only with you and sometime with shiv only with shiv this is very important because this makes uh, you all understand that what is the perspective you can share your thoughts you can share your worries pains with with me or with your dad and accordingly it can get sorted out so this is uh, what we can do why it happens the answer is that if we get carried away then many a times the burnt will get on us second thing is if we are not maintaining the 
decorum of the fight also then also it happens you, you must have seen it in school as well ki koi ek bachcha galat hota hai और दूसरा सही होता है पर जो सही है उसने कोई इतनी गलत बात बोल दी या इतने गुस्से में इन अप्रोप्रिएट वे में वो बात बोल दी है कि जो गलत है उसको तो कुछ बोला नहीं जो सही है उसी को सब सुनने को मिल गया इट हैपेंस एट टाइम्स राइट एंड सो दिस इज व्हाट वी नीड टू टेक केयर ऑफ सो इट्स नॉट दैट वी टेक मोनिशा साइड और पेरेंट टेक दी अदर चाइल्ड साइड इज जस्ट दैट जो बिहेवियर सामने नजर आ रहा है बिहेवियर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई ऑलवेज से इन एवरी प्रोग्राम वो चाहे मेरा एनएलपी प्रोग्राम हो ट्रेन द ट्रेनर हो माइंडफुलनेस मेडिटेशन हो हिप्नोसिस हो आई ऑलवेज से दैट बिहेवियर इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट टू बी टेकन केयर ऑफ क्योंकि अगर बिहेवियर सही नहीं है तो जॉब्स में भी फायरिंग सबसे पहले उन्हीं की होती है जिनका एटीट्यूड इश्यू होता है रिमेंबर दैट in life this is the one rule that is there if you are not behaving well then you are going to get the thrash so this is what i would like to say uh, for uh, the children who think that the sides have been taken but parents generally don't take the sides having said this parent have to ensure that they are spending some quality alone time with every child individually respectively Does it answer the question? By the way, I'm so nervous. Yes, it uh, does. Like it's, I will ask Shiv, but for me it's answered. And thank you very much, Mama and my trainer. I feel happy to attend this live. There were like so many doubts and misconceptions in my mind, which have been cleared. And I will work on these tips. Uh, though it seems to be difficult because it requires a lots of self discipline. And um, I'm pitching in um, over here, Manisha. Yeah, I'm actually pitching in over here because while I have shared those tips in bits and pieces with you, allow me some time so that I can share the tips, you know, with you, with all of you completely. And I would request everyone who has joined us to please have your pen and paper ready, because abhi jo tips me aapke saath share karne wali hu, it will actually go into help each one of us to me as well as a parent as a sibling so the very first uh, uh, category that i am going to take care of right now in the tips the antidote to the pain of sibling rivalry is from the parents perspective what are the tips that parents that parents can use so that uh, so that uh, the rivalry doesn't even happen right uh, thank you very Very much, Prithvi, for saying this, and uh, please write down the tips that I'm sharing with you. In case if you are a parent, do follow, it, do practice it, and in case if you are a sibling, then the sibling tips are also following after the parents' tips. Okay, so uh, okay, so tips for parents: uh, spend time with each child. This is what I mentioned, Monisha, a few minutes ago. That अपने बच्चे के साथ individually, parents. This is the tip for parents. uh every parent please bring your ear near to what i'm going to say and please write it down that spend time with each of your child separately that's very important they need you they need you always second is stop doing comparisons please monisha achi hai shiv acha hai aisa nahi chalega kyunki kisi situation mein shiv acha hai aur kisi situation mein monisha achi hai right so each child is unique individual we cannot compare one child with the other child ha huh? yes but we can definitely develop both the children or all the children with their uh, uniqueness with what they can uh, become after uh, uh, after the guidance that we give them so no comparisons at all third is be observant and see i have written them down i'm i'm reading it from the notes that i have written so i want all of you to take the notes as well so my dear parents please be observant school mein college mein relatives mein neighbors mein kahin pe bhi aapko dikh raha hai ki koi bhi insaan compare kar raha hai aapke bachchon ko aapas mein ki are uh, aapka beta to uh, kam hi marks lata hai par aapki beti bahut zyada marks lati thi are aapki beti to bilkul baat nahi karti par aapka beta to kitne acche se baat kar leta hai agar aisa ho raha hai us pe dhyan de उस पर ध्यान देने के बाद आई डोंट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू से आप जो बोल रहे हो उससे लड़ाई कर लें या आप उससे बात करनी बंद कर दें नो डोंट डू दैट बट वंस दे हैव सेड इट इट्स ओके बट सिट विद योर चिल्ड्रन सेपरेटली एंड मेक देम अंडरस्टैंड कि लोग ऐसा बोल सकते हैं इट्स ओके okay, क्योंकि वो अपने एक्सपीरियंस से बोल रहे हैं पर ऐसा नहीं है यू आर ब्यूटिफुल इन योर ओन वे एंड 
यू एंड यू आर ब्यूटिफुल इन योर ओन वे तो दोनों बच्चों को या जितने भी आपके बच्चे हैं उनको समझाइए वो बात आपकी बात वो जरूर मानेंगे so, पर उसके लिए आपको ऑब्जर्वेंट होना पड़ेगा ऐसा नहीं कि कोई भी कुछ भी आगे बोलो और आपको पता ही नहीं चल रहा और आप कह रहे हो मैंने तो ध्यान ही नहीं दिया अगर आप पेरेंट हो और आप ये स्टेटमेंट यूज करते हो कि आपने ध्यान नहीं दिया तो आई एम टेलिंग यू आर फेलिंग यू आर फेलिंग एज अ पेरेंट एंड आई डोंट वॉन्ट एनी ऑफ द पेरेंट सिटिंग हेयर लिस्निंग टू मी टू फेल इंक्लूडिंग दिस पेरेंट हु इज सेंग इट यू नो आई एम ऑल्सो पेरेंट सो आई डोंट वॉन्ट दिस स्टेटमेंट टू कम आउट ऑफ माई माउथ कि मैंने तो ध्यान ही नहीं दिया इट इज अ शॉर्ट कमिंग ऑन माई एंड सो प्लीज बी observant the fourth tip is do not share the weakness of one child with the other child right so very right prithvi you are right that sometimes our behavior makes the next person to feel bad and we must work on that behavior because good behavior is very important so coming to the fourth point aap एक बच्चे की कमजोरी या एक बच्चे की बुरी आदत दूसरे बच्चे के साथ शेयर मत करो आई अंडरस्टैंड कि पेरेंट्स गेट फ्रस्ट्रेटेड एट टाइम्स तो वो फ्रस्ट्रेशन में वेंट आउट कर देते हैं दूसरे बच्चे को कि अरे ये ऐसे करता है ये ऐसे करती है डोंट डू दैट क्योंकि जब आप ऐसा कर रहे हैं ना उस टाइम पे आप तो वेंट आउट कर रहे हैं यू आर वेंटिंग इट आउट बट एक्चुअली में जिसके सामने आप वेंट आउट कर रहे हैं दैट चाइल्ड विल नॉट रिस्पेक्ट द सिबलिंग वो नहीं कर पाएगा रिस्पेक्ट और आपका जो मोटिव था ना कि मेरे दो बच्चे हो या तीन बच्चे हो जो आगे जाके साथ रहे जिंदगी भर जब हम ना हो यहाँ पे तब भी वो मोटिव फेल हो जाएगा डोंट लेट दिस मोटिव टू फेल राइट दिस इज अ मिशन दैट यू हैव टू अकम्पलिश द फिफ्थ थिंग इज क्रिएट वेज टू लेट देम फील हाउ दे बोथ केयर फॉर ईच अदर आपको ऐसे मौके क्रिएट करने हैं एज अ पेरेंट यू ऑल हैव टू क्रिएट दो अपॉर्चुनिटीज जहां पे योर चिल्ड्रेन स्टार्ट फीलिंग की येस यू नो माई दीदी लवस मी माई दीदी केयर्स फॉर मी और जहां पर दीदी भी फील करे येस माई ब्रदर केयर्स फॉर मी येस माई ब्रदर डज इट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल मोनिशा इफ यू रिमेंबर तो मेनी टाइम्स मी एंड योर पापा वी कीप ऑल सेंग की अरे शिव ने ये आपके लिए बचा के रखा है राइट अच्छा शिव दीदी आपके लिए लेके आई है ये पेरेंट का काम है करने का दीदी थोड़े ना बोले कि शिव तुम्हारे लिए मैं लेके आई हूँ ये पेरेंट बोलेगा ना तो बच्चे के मन में जाएगा कि वाह दीदी केयर फॉर मी या शिव केयर फॉर मी राइट सो ये पेरेंट्स का काम है प्लीज टेक सम एसेंस फ्रॉम दिस एग्जांपल ऑल द पेरेंट्स यू हैव टू क्रिएट द वेज टू लेट योर चिल्ड्रन फील दैट दे बोथ केयर फॉर ईच अदर ये आपकी जिम्मेदारी है आप इससे भाग नहीं सकते बस फुल स्टॉप है इस चीज पे देन कम्स द सिक्स पॉइंट विच से बी माइंडफुल ऑफ योर बिहेवियर डोंट लेट फेवरेटिज्म कम इन टू पिक्चर तो एज अ पेरेंट हमको बहुत माइंडफुल रहना है हमारे बिहेवियर को लेकर जैसे अभी ये क्वेश्चन आया था शिव का कि ऐसा क्यों है कि दीदी की साइड ली जा रही है इट्स एन आई ओपनिंग क्वेश्चन फॉर मी एज अ पेरेंट आपको यहीं से ऐसे ही क्वेश्चन से या ऐसी ही बातों से यू हैव टू टेक आउट द हिंट्स दैट वट्स गोइंग ऑन इन दी हेड ऑफ योर चाइल्ड एंड यू हैव टू फिक्स दैट फॉर योर सेल्फ सो बिकम ऑब्जर्वेंट बी माइंडफुल एंड मेक श्योर दैट इन एनी सिचुएशन इफ यू आर scolding one child that child should know that why this person is getting scolded not the other uh, child so that they don't get this thought ki sides le rahe hain parents don't take sides but if they are doing something which make the child feel that they are taking sides then parent has to do something with the way they are communicating or you know taking care of things i see that prithvi oops i see that prithvi has mentioned that uh, whenever behavior is good the people say that you are butchering them a lot which makes a change in behavior please tell solution for that that's a very very nice question prithvi and i'm so happy that you asked it to answer this question prithvi you know uh, it, it happens i agree with you it happens but let them say that you are butchering don't change your behavior if you know that your behavior is good keep on doing that because sooner or later they will love you for this behavior and do not uh, change your behavior at all just keep on checking whether you are getting too good matlab i what i want to say is ki good behavior karne ke uh, chakkar mein kai bari hum pleasing ho jate hain don't be ple- Pleasing to the other person, but keep on doing 
uh, or showing the behavior that you have to show because of your manners and etiquette. So, अपने etiquette के according जैसा behavior होना चाहिए वो करते जाइए. If someone is saying that you are buttering them, keep a check कि आप कहीं please तो नहीं कर रहे सामने वाले को. और अगर नहीं कर रहे हैं तो keep continuing that behavior. I'm telling you with my life's experience that people will love you for this behavior. But yes, the main thing जो आपको ध्यान रखनी है पृथ्वी और ये लिख लो आप कि आप को हमेशा चेक करते रहना है कि कहीं आप ओवर तो नहीं कर रहे हो क्योंकि अति हर चीज की बुरी है एक्सेस ऑफ एवरीथिंग इज बैड तो अति नहीं करना है एक एलोक्वेंस के साथ एक समझदारी के साथ जो आपका बिहेवियर है यू हैव टू कीप ऑन डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिंग पीपल विल से बट देन दे विल फॉलो यू आफ्टर दैट आई होप आई वॉज एबल टू आंसर योर क्वेश्चन पृथ्वी इफ नॉट देन प्लीज फील फ्री टू आस्क अगेन आई वुड लव टू आंसर इट now coming to the seventh point uh, which is the tip for parents the seventh tip for parents which says that provide opportunities for your children to cooperate with each other for example ab do bacche hain aapke to dono ko ikatthe market bhejiye agar unki age hai agar unki age market jaane layak hai aur ghar ke paas market hai ya shop hai to aap un dono ko ikatthe bhejo ki bring this isse unke beech ka coordination banna shuru ho jayega राइट अनदर थिंग दैट यू कैन डू इज कि अगर वो लेट uh, से कि उनको uh, किसी एक बच्चे को होमवर्क में मुश्किल आ रहा है तो इंस्टेड ऑफ यू जंपिंग इन एंड हेल्पिंग दैट दैट चाइल्ड आप बड़े बच्चे को बोलो कि प्लीज इसको हेल्प करना जरा और जब बड़ा बच्चा हेल्प करे तो ध्यान रखो कि बड़ा बच्चा कमांडिंग ना हो जाए लविंग वे में रहे सो so, ये पूरा ऑब्जर्वेशन आपको करना है पर आपको फैसिलिटेट करना है बच्चों को यू हैव टू फैसिलिटेट दैट प्लेटफॉर्म वेयर योर चिल्ड्रन आर वर्किंग टूगेदर क्रिएट दैट काइंड ऑफ एटमोस्फेयर दैट दीज आर दिवन टिप्स फॉर पेरेंट्स नाउ आई एम कमिंग टू यू मोनिशा एंड द चिल्ड्रन द सिबलिंग्स वट आर दिवन टिप्स द वेरी फर्स्ट टिप इज लर्न द आर्ट ऑफ ए लोकवेंस आई विल एम्फिस Exercise it over and over again, or my heart program. I, jitte bhi certification courses hai, every participant. And you know, Monisha, my participants are not children. My participants are adults. They are doctors, psychiatrists, psychologists, healers, etc., etc. By God's grace, and lovely participants that I have always had. So I always emphasize that learn the art of eloquence. आपको पता होना चाहिए कि आप अपनी बात कैसे रखें. आपको अपनी बात को किस तरह से रखना है एंड दैट इज नॉट मैन्यूपुलेशन रिमेंबर वंस अगेन इफ यू नो हाउ टू कन्वे योर पॉइंट इट इज नॉट मैन्यूपुलेशन इट इज द आर्ट ऑफ स्पीकिंग दैट यू मास्टर ओके देन द सेकंड पॉइंट द सेकंड टिप फॉर सिबलिंग इज लर्न एंड प्रैक्टिस एम्पथी वट इज एम्पथी एम्पथी मतलब महसूस करना कि सामने वाले को कैसा लगेगा सो लर्न वट इज एम्पथी and practice it. तो जब आप अपने सिबलिंग के साथ कोई बात कर रहे हो उनको गुस्से में कुछ बोल रहे हो तो फर्स्ट एम्पेथाइज कि अगर यही चीज मेरे साथ हो तो कैसा लगेगा एंड अकॉर्डिंगली से थिंग्स टू दैम थर्ड इज स्टॉप ब्लेमिंग अगर कुछ लड़ाई होती है या कुछ गलत होता है तो ब्लेम नहीं करना है कि तेरी वजह से हो गया बिकॉज ऑफ यू दिस एंड डोंट डू दैट हाँ जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द सिचुएशन एंड प्रोसीड फॉर द share the responsibilities parents will give you lots of work as your teachers give you lots of homework you also parents will also give you lots of work share those responsibilities don't say ki ye tu karega ya tu karegi no this will not work share it right then fifth tip is respect choices of the other sibling as well so if you like rajma chawal and your sibling likes bread pakoda respect it don't humiliate them ki are bread pakoda kon khata hai don't do that just say ki oh bread pakoda hmm ye bhi tasty ho sakta hai hmm par mere ko to rajma chawal pasand hai but yes bread pakoda is also good choice respect the choice of the other person they will feel uh, appreciated and the rivalry will not happen uh, then sixth tip is look for common interests आप सबके पास कुछ ना कुछ कॉमन इंटरेस्ट्स होंगे सो कॉमन इंटरेस्ट्स के लिए उसी के ऊपर आप आप देखिए कि आप में और आपके भाई या बहन में क्या कॉमन है स्टार्ट लुकिंग इट फ्रॉम द मैचिंग पर्सपेक्टिव जो लोगों ने मुझसे एनएलपी किया है दे नो दैट दैट व्हाट इज दी व्हाट इज दी मैचिंग लुक आउट फॉर द मैचिंग्स 
in 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 the interests of the sibling and the seventh antidote is support each other no matter what support each other i'm telling you as a sibling as brother sister or sister sister or brother brother if you are not supporting each other i'm telling you this entire world will not support you wo kare nahi hai nahi jab tak aap log ikatthe nahi hai to puri duniya aapka mazak udayegi aapke piche se aapko pata bhi nahi chalega so the main thing is that as a brother and sister or brother and brother or sister and sister you must support ईच अदर अगर कोई गलत है तो उसको समझाओ पर उससे नफरत नहीं करो उसको ह्यूमिलिएट नहीं करो उसको इंसल्ट नहीं करो उसको अपना समझ के उसके भले के लिए उससे बात कर लो बट डू नॉट इंसल्ट एम यू हैव टू बी टूगेदर अदरवाइज वर्ल्ड विल नॉट बी विद यू so these are the seven antidotes from this for siblings uh, and i see that prithvi has some questions and i would love to answer it prithvi i'm loving the questions that you are asking uh so prithvi says that uh, i have a different behavior front of my friends and different behavior front of my teachers parents and the other elder people so that is main reason they say that you bother them lot and all prithvi uh i value your question a lot and you know it is very normal or natural it is very natural for other people to say this but agar hum iski depth mein jaye to aapka behavior alag hi to hona chahiye na जैसा आप अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ बिहेव करते हो आप वैसा टीचर के साथ थोड़े कर सकते हो इट विल बी डिसरिस्पेक्टफुल यू नो और जैसा आप टीचर के साथ बिहेव कर रहे हो आप अपने पेरेंट्स के साथ वैसा बिहेव नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि नहीं तो फिर पेरेंट्स के साथ अपनापन कहाँ रह जाएगा राइट पेरेंट्स के साथ तो हम जिद भी करते हैं हम उनसे लड़ाई भी कर लेते हैं कई बार हम उनके साथ अपनापन भी दिखाते हैं बहुत ज्यादा सो so, अगर आपका बिहेवियर डिफरेंट है इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि आप बटरिंग कर रहे हो इसका मतलब सिर्फ इतना है दैट मे बी यू हैव दैट कॉमन सेंस कि फ्रेंड्स के साथ हैं तो कैसे बिहेव करना है पेरेंट्स के साथ हैं तो क्या बिहेवियर होना चाहिए टीचर्स के साथ हैं तो क्या बिहेवियर होना चाहिए अगेन द सेम थिंग आई विल रिपीट बस उस बिहेवियर को टाइम टू टाइम चेक करते रहना है कि ऐसा तो नहीं कि बिहेवियर ओवर द बोर्ड जा रहा है दैट सेट रेस्ट इट विल बी फाइन इन केस अगर आपको और भी कुछ यू नो इसमें डाउट लगता है फील फ्री टू कनेक्ट विद मी ऑन माई सोशल मीडिया हैंडल्स या आप मेरे टीम uh, uh, जो मेरा ऑफिशियल नंबर है उस पर आप मेरे साथ वन टू वन कनेक्ट कर सकते हो आई विल अंडरस्टैंड एंड आई विल सी वट वी कैन डू अराउंड इट राइट पृथ्वी ओके सो पृथ्वी यू से दैट ओके कैन यू टेल डिफरेंस बिटवीन एम्पथी एंड सिंपथी हाँ एम्पथी इज दैट फीलिंग यू नो वट आर द पर्सन वुड बी गोइंग थ्रू एंड सिंपथी इज दया यू नो जैसे हम दया दिखाते हैं ओ बेचारा काइंड ऑफ सो दैट दू नो माइनर डिफरेंस दैट आई वुड लाइक टू से देर इज अ वेरी थिन लाइन बिटवीन इट एंड येस डेफिनेट सेम टाइम इट विल बी डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज मेरा लाइफ तो सैटरडे को नाइन पी एम टू टेन पी एम होता है हैविंग सेट दिस यू कैन डेफिनेटली कनेक्ट विद मी ऑन माई ऑफिशियल नंबर नाइन फाइव नाइन टू एट डबल सेवन ट्रिपल जीरो एंड आई विल लव टू डिस्कस वट एक्जैक्टली इज कॉजिंग द इश्यू सो आई होप आई वॉज एबल टू आंसर योर क्वेश्चन पृथ्वी एंड आई होप दैट एवरी वन हैज टेकन नोट on tips for siblings to prevent sibling rivalry and tips for parents to prevent sibling rivalry of your children you have given birth to your children so that they can live in harmony even when you are not there so make that happen it's your responsibility i'm saying this to myself also i'm also a parent so make it happen we all all the parents sitting here listening to me will make it happen right promise i'm sure there's a promise i know you all will do that i will also do that so this is it from my and monisha i hope i was able to do justice to your questions and do these tips also yes and before you give a closure to this um live i would take just 5 minutes of yours if you allow oh, sure. definitely <laughs> After attending TTT leadership program, my thought process has changed completely. And uh, I also want to sh uh, share here that uh, to all the people who are present here and who are uh, uh, who are in this live, join this live. To that, if they have, they are suffering with any problem, please connect with Personal Mastery because they will re resolve your problems as a whole, and this is the solution for your problem. Oh. 
I love you for this, Manisha. Thank you so much. I, you know, I was not aware when I asked you to attend that program. I think in the lockdown you attended the certification program, and I think at that time you were the youngest participant who got certified as a leadership and emotional intelligence person. And I'm so proud of that uh, because you know while I am your mom, I was your trainer as well. So you were on the uh, you know 24 by 7 radar. You know. Uh, The radar was on you because I was staying with you. I was able to see that जो सिखाया है वो हो रहा है कि नहीं हो रहा है and I I feel uh, uh, I feel blessed by God's grace that बहुत ही कम scope था जहाँ पे the miss was there but you were you were able to carry it off and I can see the same progress in your school life also now with the way you are getting the um, uh, the responsibilities the way your teachers converse with you uh, i'm very happy and thank you for saying that personal mastery has changed your life i feel blessed kyunki kai bari kehte hai na halwai apni hi mithai nahi khata but i'm very happy ki ye jo halwai hai monisha gupta isne apni mithai jo hai personal mastery wo bahut hi acche se khai hai aur usko wo promote bhi kar rahi hai ki ye mithai bahut swadishth hai so thank you very much for that and uh, my pleasure prithvi uh, i'm happy that i was able to answer your question any other questions that anyone else would like to ask before we call it a night please feel free please type in your questions if you want to and yes next saturday 9 pm to 10 pm when we meet we are going to cover the amazing episode of teacher and you we are going to cover that how the presence of teacher can impact your life and in case if in any which way the impact or the intervention of teacher is not creating a healthy life for you what you can do about it without complaining about that teacher without hating that teacher what is in your control where you can make things happen for you and uh, this this uh, you know uh, next saturday's topic teachers and you is also very special for teachers so in case if there is any teacher over here i will recommend them to join it maybe your experiences that you will share on the chat or maybe your questions will help us a lot will help these students a lot to to get the answers to get the resolutions to whatever thoughts they are playing with uh yes prithvi my number is 9592877000 uh and uh yeah this is how you can connect with my team and uh i monisha uh, on this public platform i would like to take a commitment from you that you will join me next week also because it's about teacher and you and you are living a student life <laughs> of course i would love to oh thank you very much monisha so with this i feel uh, we completed today's uh, live 5 minutes early is there any question anyone welcome preeti bhabhi so good to see you here any questions any thoughts any doubts please feel free to ask or else we can call it a night okay no issues so seems like uh, we are all set i wish you all the very best for these tips that you are going to practice and i wish you all best of the best on this i'm going to practice it as well because the sibling tips are also helpful for me i have a sibling and the parent tips are also helpful for me because i'm a parent as well so i will get double benefits uh with this i will see you all next saturday 9 pm to 10 pm and our topic is teachers and you see you soon much love please take care have a good night and a happy weekend